Welcome to a Keto Omad vlog. I'm finishing up a 70 hour fast. Now I just have to wait like two minutes or so until I break my fast. I want 70 hours, guys. I need to cut this fast off now because I have to wake up tomorrow morning. I have a personal training appointment at 8.30 a.m. and I have to get my kid ready for school and I need to get my body to adjust. But this was such a good 70 hour fast. Make sure you check out the videos here. It was a three day fast, I'm gonna call it that. But this is why it's important to break your fast or start your fast at a reasonable time. I, I broke my fast or I started my fast at 10 p.m. I'm usually in bed by nine, so. <laughs> but it is what it is. I wish I can continue fasting, but I have to get back to working out. So we were just gonna wait for the countdown. It's like New Year's, 10, nine. Now to break a 72 hour fast, you wanna be careful. I am gonna break it with this. This is some mackerel and some avocado, but I'm gonna drink some water first because I kind of dry fasted for the last six hours because I wasn't sure when I was gonna make my fast and I didn't wanna drink water before weighing myself in the whole spiel. So I weighed myself, took pictures, did the whole lot. My cycle just started as soon as I ended my fast. I found that's funny. Yeah, you're supposed to start your, the best time to start your fast is day one of your cycle. But I was just, just this was the opportunity for me to fast. I had to take time off the gym because of my knees. I messed them up. I messed them up in a car accident and then I did an exercise wrong. So there's that. So that's why I'm trying to get personal training help because I need all the help. But yes, we are doing a, how can I call this a 70 hour keto OMAD? It technically is a keto OMAD because I'm going to be eating. Um, you know, I fasted minimum. It's a 24 hour plus OMAD. <laughs> it's technically an OMAD because it will be a one meal. But yeah, I am about to break my fast. I'm about to break my fast. So where am I here? Um, so let's do that as I get all the text messages in the world right now. Where are we at? There we are, breaking my fast at 70 hours and one minute. Let's first get a screenshot. Screenshot, so I can use it for the video. Save, breaking my fast. We'll see how my system responds. All right, we are gonna break the fast with, oh my God, I forgot rodachios. I have to make, I'm gonna be making a salad but we're gonna break it with avocado and this uh, canned mackerel, Mediterranean style with olive oil. So I have a whole keto meal plan by my coach. And it's so funny, the keto meal plan, um, part of her like apping system is so much better. Ah, I just dropped something than the regular one. Anyway, let's stop yakking and let's start eating. Avocado needs salt. <laughs> so I just loaded my avocado with some salt, garlic salt, some um, potassium salt, and regular salt. I miss Himalayan salt. Right now, I don't know where my Himalayan pink salt went. I gotta buy some of this to put on my food. But um, when you are doing a keto OMAD meal, please make sure you dose your food in salt. Now, avocado is gonna become a little staple on my channel because me doing keto OMAD now, now, it's so important. Or me doing, oh, no, I'm not doing OMAD. Me doing keto with your random OMAD days, it is so important that I basically get avocados in because they're really good at holding in electrolytes. This stove is on. That will be my later meal. I just got to get it together. But I'm going to slowly go eat this. Theoretically, you're supposed to break your three-day fast in a way that's very slow, but you know, because if you don't, you could shock your system, but I'll be okay. <laughs> I'm eating very slowly, very slowly. And then I'll wait probably an hour and eat the rest. All right, hopefully my face isn't dirty with grease, but I just had a pork rib. My body seems to be responding well, but I'm gonna slow it down. Um, macros and calories are like beside each kind of you know, meal, or it's on the screen of me eating the pork ribs. Next, I'm gonna have a serving of 300 calories worth of cashews while I'm watching 
sisters in the city. Okay, Mandy. Mandy, Mandy Vakili. What am I going to do with this one? She is such a beautiful girl, but her mind is going to ruin her. <laughs> she's going to do way too many surgeries when she doesn't even need it. She says she's going to be that person, but, you know, to each their own. When it comes to plastic surgery, the only one I would probably do is loose skin if I need to. We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> I love those girls. They're hilarious. I've been watching their podcast since before it was even on YouTube. And now look at them. And I pay for their Patreon episodes because I support them. So everyone who's complaining about them being, oh, now you put it on Patreon. I'm unfollowing. What the hell? Then unfollow. <laughs> the girls are making their coin and I'm supporting them. It's only $7 Canadian. Anyway. <laughs> All right. These girls are crazy. <laughs> um, this is my final meal because I'm really full. But Marcella wants me to make sure that I get in salmon and nuts. I think I might have to add some Brazil nuts. Hang on. Yeah, I'm ready to sleep. But uh, basically, Marcella wants me to get in certain fats. And I need, in order to get those fats at a certain ratio, like polyunsaturates, monounsaturates, mono and saturate fats at a certain ratio, I need to get used to having salmon daily and Brazil nuts and certain other fats. But I am full and this is a real OMAD. I should mention my blood sugar has been pretty decent. My blood sugar after eating is at 4.8 millimoles per liter. That is a fasted blood sugar rate. So I know it's a win. Marcella wanted me to have 30 grams of overall carbs, but I know I'm in ketosis if I go 30 grams net carbs, if I don't go 50. So I'm going to talk to her about that because I know I'm still in ketosis, even though I'm at, I think I'm at 47 net carbs. Where am I at with net carbs? For the day if I eat this but I'm so full I don't even want to eat this I'm full and I have this meal right here is 226 plus the nuts 130 226 300 okay so I'm at full at I'm full at 1200 calories which is how I did keto omad to lose most of my weight I ate between the 1200 1400 calorie range but I am so full right now, but I'm going to try to get this in some green beans and all of that. But yeah, I'm about to pass out and I'm doing laundry and I got a kid in the bath. But yeah, basically with this whole thing, I think net carbs is fine. So I'll talk to her about it. Um, it won't be a big deal. I know it's net carbs. It's not total carbs. I've done this keto thing for a really, really long time. And I know I'm, in, I'm still in ketosis because I can tell with my blood sugar. You can tell I'm in ketosis with my blood sugar. That will, like, ketosis is dependent on your blood sugar being low. So with my blood sugar being in the fours, it's at 4.9, literally after eating, if you can see that without the ring light. So I know I'm in freaking ketosis for sure. But yeah, this was my keto OMAD day. Oh my God. Eating after that fast, whew. I'm really, 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 really tired. And I'm probably going to shed a bunch of weight tomorrow. I lost nine pounds on the fast, but... I'm ready to go back into ketosis. I'm gonna do this for three weeks. I'll probably lose a ton of weight and then I'll get back to having carbs that week before my period and then we'll adjust. And then I'll probably go back to doing what I was doing. But I just wanna go into ketosis for a bit. We'll see, we're gonna play it by ear. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, just drop in the word ketones and I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care, bye.